How's it? It's Brendan here from Infinity Investment Solutions again. Uh, wanted to talk about some property insights and uh, I think I should start calling this like uh, drive line property or something because I'm always doing these videos when I'm in the car. Um, but it's, it's usually what I do to try and be reasonably effective in the day is, uh, is find those little gaps of time that I'm doing nothing and, and try and fill them with something that can actually make a difference. Uh, if it's a three or five minute or eight minute video that might make a difference in your life, might make a difference in my business, might make a difference in some way, then at least I've used the time effectively instead of just sitting here in traffic looking at the guy's bumper in front of me. Uh, so anyway, my, my insight today is, is uh, I had a, a great call with, uh, with a potential uh, partner out of the US yesterday. We're uh, locking down a term sheet on a $17 million acquisition. It is 140 units in Atlanta and I'm really excited to be, to be buying this uh, project. I, I drove through it when I was there two weeks ago um, and it's an amazing project. I really think it will perform well over the long term. It's got great cash flow already. We need to put in about $5 million. But that's not what I want to talk about now. What I want to talk about is the small little differentiating things that I put into the contracts that make a big difference on our risk profile and really align interests from our partners, you know, across the pond. And uh, and I often hear it said to me in the, you know, in, in these meetings that I have with with these guys that bring deals to the table, is like they're like I've never seen this before, and and uh, you know we've never done a deal like this before, and I'm like well that's fine, you don't have to deal with uh, do a deal with me, you're welcome to go and do a deal with somebody else, um, but uh, this little line that I'm putting in has to stay, and uh, and I'll give you an example of what that line is. Um, there's a few of them that I put in, but the one is. The second I see it in a, in a pro forma or, or in a calculation sheet is asset management fees. So why do I hate asset management fees so much? I hate asset management fees because they're taking money regardless of whether me as an investor is making money in the project or not. So when someone's taking an asset management fee out of the cash flow, if the cash flow is going down or up or whatever, they're taking their little asset management fee regardless of whether I'm doing well out of the investment or not. And that just shows me a misalignment of interest that uh, there, there's a, a philosophical difference in thinking that I try and amend by bringing in a differentiated way of thinking. And what is that way of thinking? So, so what I did was I said, look, guys, is it possible for us to remove the asset management fee completely because I don't want my investors or myself because I'm putting personal money into this project as well. I don't want us paying anybody to look after this project if it's not performing. If it's not performing, I want you hurting as much as me. Uh, and to be fair, they're also putting some of their own personal cash in. It's another one of my criteria, but I'll get to how, do you, how you negotiate that one later. This particular negotiation went like this, is, um, is I'm happy to give you a, a greater performance fee so when the property is working better than a certain budget, then I'm happy to pay you even more than your asset management fee. In fact, I offered them 50% more than their asset management fee. I said, I will pay you 50% more than what you've put in the line item over here. And if you're unhappy with that, it shows me that we're at a philosophical difference in terms of way of, of thinking, and we're not going to be able to be partners. Uh, even though it's a tiny amount of money in perspective, I mean, it's a $17 million deal, and I'm talking about two to $3,000 a month here. But... Um, it, it shows a philosophical difference in thinking and alignment. And what I'm looking for is incentives to be aligned. Happy to pay for performance, not happy to pay if things are going bad and people are still getting paid. So that's just the one little insight that I thought I'd share with you guys today. Hope you have a great day. Keep investing, keep making money, keep protecting your, your wealth uh, and share with us some stories if you're doing well in property investments or in anything really. I'd love to hear them. Take care. Bye-bye.